Hi guys! So today is my January favorites. I didn't do a favorites for December because I did like a whole yearly favorites. So this is kind of stuff that I liked in December that was just too new to put in my yearly favorites and then stuff that I found in January as well. Alright, so I think we'll just start with makeup. A foundation that I've been loving pretty much the whole month of January was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I did a whole review on this foundation. I will link it right here for you if you want to watch it, and I'll also link it down below if you want to hear my thoughts on it. But I really do think this is a great foundation for people with oily skin. It's like a medium coverage. It's it's a really, really, really good foundation. Next is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. I talked about this in a haul not too long ago, and in that haul I said that I wasn't really too sure about it because I didn't think it was working right for my skin, but once I started using it more, I really, really, really do like it. It sets my concealer really well. It doesn't give me the same brightening effect that other people will get from it if you have like darker skin because I'm so fair. It just kind of um, matches my skin tone. So it just like really helps set my concealer in place. It doesn't move, it doesn't crease. It's really, really nice. But if you are darker than me, which most people are, you will love this if you're looking for a brightening powder under the eyes. So yeah, love this. Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. All right, on to brows. I am in loving this NYX eyebrow gel. I just did a 100% drugstore makeup tutorial and I used that in it. And this stuff is like glue to your eyebrows. Like it is not gonna go anywhere throughout the day. It is like waterproof. It's amazing. It makes your brows look really defined but not too unnatural. It still makes it look pretty natural. And yeah, I've just been, I've just been loving this, and it's affordable because it's from the drugstore. I found mine at Ulta. So yeah, if you like like the gel, like the Mac Fluid line or the Anastasia Dip Brow, to give this one a try because it's a lot cheaper, and it works pretty much the same way. Another brow product I've been loving is the Mac Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. Mine is in em emphatically emphatically blonde I think that's right um, this one has a really nice little wand like this I use this to set my brows after I use the Anastasia brow Wiz. so if I was using this I wouldn't use this because they kind of do the same thing as far as setting my brows so this one I usually use with my brow Wiz. But yeah, this stuff is also like glue for your eyebrows. Your eyebrows don't move when you use it. It doesn't give a lot of color, this one on me, but that's not really what I use it for. I use it mostly just to kind of fill in some sparse areas and to set my eyebrows. But yeah, I think this one looks a little bit more natural than the, the clear brow gel from Anastasia, so I kind of prefer this one over it, but they're both really good. Uh, this, I've just been loving this one right now. All right, eyeshadows. I think this eyeshadow palette, the e.l.f. Prism palette, is probably the best one at the drugstore right now. I love it. These shades are just so pretty. They're super pigmented. They are shimmery, but not like glitter. They're just perfect. This one is like $10, I think, but you can always find deals on their website. But I got mine during the 50% off sale, so I paid $5 for this, and I'd pay $20 because it's so, 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 so good. It's so high quality for, I'm not saying e.l.f. doesn't have high quality, but when you're thinking of the best eyeshadow palette at the drugstore, you probably wouldn't think e.l.f., but this palette, I have it on today. It's just a beautiful palette. I reach for it all, all, all the time. I am so late on this, but I finally got the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Yes, I have them in a e.l.f. palette right here. 
Um, I ordered a Z palette, but it hasn't come yet, so I didn't want. I really wanted to use them, and I didn't want to just like leave them out. So I picked this Elf palette up at Target for a dollar. A dollar, and they fit in perfectly. The only thing is, it's not magnetic. So, see, so yeah, I wouldn't suggest like keeping them in something like this. But if you're traveling, it's a great option. But yeah, so I have Cocoa Bear. Creme Brulee, Peach Smoothie, and Barcelona Beach. I love Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee. I use those in my crease like every single day. I love them. They're definitely worth the hype for sure. Alright, I have one blush. This is one of the mineralized blushes from MAC. This is Warm Soul. It's just like a really pretty peachy bronze color. It looks like it's nothing in the pan, but on the cheeks it just looks so pretty and so natural. And just like you have like a natural bronze look to your face. I love it. It's not something I would usually reach for, but I have just been loving, loving, loving this. Alright, I have a few lip products. First one, I don't know why more people don't talk about these, because I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about them. They are the Essence lipsticks. They're lo the long-lasting lipsticks. I found mine at Ulta for $2.99. They are just so pretty and so pigmented and so nice and easy to wear. I have Natural Beauty, which is just like a really pretty pinky nude color. Love that. And Coral Calling, which is like a corally pink color. Yeah, they are just super pretty and I really don't know why more people don't talk about these because they are amazing. And another lip product that I've been loving are the Bite Beauty Lush Fruit Lip Glosses. I have the little mini versions that I got in a set around Christmas at Sephora. But they are such a pretty, they're such a nice gloss. Like, I did not expect to love them as much as I do. This one is Rambutant. It's just like the perfect nude gloss. I have it on today over MAC Please Me. I just think it is such a pretty, such a pretty color. And this one on the top is Current. It's just like the prettiest, almost um, purpley berry color. You could wear it over a purple lip or um, like a mauve kind of lip. I don't know. These are just beautiful glosses. They're not sticky. They're long wearing. They feel so good on your lips and they smell delicious. But yeah, Rambutant is like my all-time favorite gloss right now. I need to go buy the full version when I run out of this one. This is just, oh, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, I have a couple hair items. First is the Garnier Damage Eraser Reconstructing Butter. Sounds kind of weird. But I picked this up because I was looking for a new hair mask. And I love the L'Oreal Damage Eraser or something like that. But this one looked really promising. And you can tell I've used the heck out of it already. I've only had it for a couple weeks. I use it every time I wash my hair. It is... Wow, your hair feels so soft after it. It doesn't feel as damaged and dry as it did beforehand. It's... Oh, I love it. I just love 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 the stuff and of course it's at the drugstore so it's not that expensive but yeah definitely give this one a try if you're looking for a new hair mask because it is perfect something else that i've been loving is the tresemme keratin smooth flat iron smoothing spray i picked this up because i was looking for a new one of these and I think this might have replaced it, or it's just a different version of it, but I couldn't find this one. So I got this one. 
as like my um, heat protecting because I really love this one as a heat protectant. And this one is for heat protection and salon shine. But the smell of this, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with the smell of this. Like when it's in your hair, like it doesn't smell as good in the bottle, but when you spray in your hair and you like blow dry it, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It makes your hair feel really smooth and doesn't look frizzy or anything like that. It does a really good job of protecting against heat. Yeah, I just love this stuff. A perfume that I've been loving is this Chloe perfume. It's Chloe by Chloe. And I got like the Sephora perfume sampler for Christmas and this is the perfume that I picked. This I think is like $70 for this, which is crazy, 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 but I really, really, really do love this. Um, it has a list of notes right here for you, if you want to see the notes. I don't, know, I don't remember exactly what's in it, but I know it has peony, and I am always drawn to perfumes that have peony in them. I love the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. That one has peony in it too. I just love... I just really love perfumes that have peony in it, and this is just a really nice, like, a feminine smell, but it smells grown up. Like, it doesn't smell like you're wearing, like, Britney Spears perfume, you know, stuff like that. I just, I love, love, love this, and it lasts on me forever. Like, it, I can spray it in the morning, and I still smell like it by the end of the day, and that's, like, a humongous selling point for me. So, yeah, Chloe by Chloe. Alright, one last thing. My favorite candle... This month has been the Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. I bought like five of these because I just love the way it smells. I have it burning right here too. So yeah, it's not like an overwhelmingly sweet smell. It just smells really fresh and clean and not overpowering and it's just perfect. Love, love, love this candle. Alright, so that is my January favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!